Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophinet and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We're still in the Ashes of Ariandel expansion and that means we're still, of course, in the painted world of Ariandel. Um, last time we ended up at this uh, pretty crooked bridge. But I want to head back and see what else we missed because, of course, we skipped part of that tower because we were almost out of Estes flask or Estai flasks. I don't know what the, the multiple of Estes is. Probably Estai. Um, and there's this way back up, but there's creepy tree ladies in the way that are not real. And that looks like one that's real because there's it's moving. So this one isn't. This one, whoa, this corpse must have gotten, gotten frozen by this one. There we go. Oh, there is something over there. I hear movement. Doing some weed whacking. Oh god. There we go. What are these things? What are these things? Oh, those are those are mini fireballs. So those make a pretty cool noise though. So I'm actually trying to get my bearings because I can't see the the tower anymore. Large tight night short and this place is full of those tree women. And those are look like creepy little flies. Oh wow. I think they're pretty weak to fire damage. Wow, that was three enemies in one hit. Frozen weapon. Okay. So these little egg thingies are probably because of those fly monsters. Yeah. Uh that must be a spell. Frozen weapon. One of the spells left behind by the young sorcerer Saliv Salivan? Before leaving the painted world, imbues a right hand weapon with frost. Salivan was born and raised inside the painting, yet had little use for this frigid for his frigid homeland, since he had not yet experienced loss. Huh. So Sulevan is of course one of the boss fights in Um Dark Souls 3 in the main game. And he's the right hand man of um, Aldrich. And he had a lot of power, but he was apparently born here. Huh. But he had little use for his frigid homeland since he had not yet experienced loss. So people come here because they experience loss and want to process that or what? Okay. I don't think the big one respawned, because he should be up there, but he doesn't show. And I still hear growling behind me. I'm gonna try and avoid him for now. There is something over there on the right as well. But if I want to get inside the tower again, I think I'm just gonna have to run for it. Um, so, uh, run, forest, run! I'm gonna try and, and lose them in between the walls here. Um, over here. So I know there's a big one behind me now. And I think if I go inside... Do I still pull the big one? Yeah, I do. But I can handle him. Oh shit, no, not the V goes down. Okay, going back outside. Okay, I'm gonna hide behind the wall because of the arrows. Oh, they're both coming out now. Okay, so now my only way is up. Baby! 
Yeah, that was a li little bit of a song. So heading up. Taking the ladder. Oh, I hear... I hear arrows being fired at me. Okay. Uh. Okay, that guy looks bad. Goodbye. I killed him. I killed him without getting attacked myself. Okay. Um. Ooh. I can't go even higher. Hello? I'm gonna have to take take into account that there's two angry men waiting for me. Um, downstairs. Ooh, I can jump that probably. There we go. Millwood Battle Axe. Battle Axe wielded by Millwood Knights. Its blade is blessed by the symbol of the ethereal oak. A hefty axe normally wielded by the mightiest of warriors. Okay. So yeah, they're mighty warriors and they come from... They like trees. That is something. Um, but that doesn't teach us, a, teach us a lot. Aside from the fact that those are Millwood uh, Knights. Ladder ahead, then Umbral Ash ahead. Okay. Thank you, sir, for that... Uh... Ooh, yeah, indeed. We can go even higher. And then get our asses kicked by whatever's up here, probably. Although it does seem like there's nobody here. Soul of a venerable old hand. So the hand are, of course, the secret service of uh, Lothric. So why would they be here? A captain's ashes. I'm just going to go back over there before I start checking that out. Um, so that's under keys, yeah. I have the, the ashes from uh, my playthrough already. And I'm trying to do the darker playthrough. Um, Captain's Ashes. Umbral Ash of the Captain of the Millwood Knights. With this, the Shrine Handmaiden will prepare new items. Long ago, when the Millwood Knights lost the forest they called home, they began a journey so long that even thoughts of their sworn enemy washed away, replaced by a vision of a cold and brittle wood. Okay, so they lost their home and they don't even know why they're fighting anymore. That is... That is pretty sad. Um... Descend down the ladder again. No, 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 no. Oh, I hate that it's... Oh, hi. Hi. No, no. There we go. Just gonna pop that away. There we go. I'm just gonna toss him out the window. Goodbye. <laughs> and... Oh, he just disappears. That was sad. Ooh. He left an item. Oh, come on. Give me that. Ooh, Titanite shards. Okay. Um, so I think that's it for this tower. Although I think... Was there another item over there? I just ran after the crystal lizard. I'm just gonna go back up. Just really, really quickly. Because I want to see if there's anything there. Ah, oh, yeah, there, there is. So let's go back all the way up there, go down the, the stairs again, and get that item. Maybe there's something more about these uh, Millwood Knights. Even though they look a bit like Vikings, I wouldn't call them a knight per se. I think they're kind of lacking the honor of a knight. Ethereal Oak Shield, so they lost their Ethereal Oak. That's what the other uh, car or char bronze shield used by Millwood Knights that slowly regenerates HP. The shield appears to be blessed by a great and faded image of the ethereal oak, so they slowly regenerate HP. Okay. That is interesting. Um That's a really cool shield. I would like to use that if I if I use shields. I don't use shields anymore. Why did I do that to myself? Okay, back at the bridge. And now I actually don't really know what to do. I'm guessing cross the bridge. And I know the bridge in uh, the Painted World of Ariamis was okay. So this one should be as well. I'm running. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Ugh. 
Is that gonna break? Oh, there is another area down there. But maybe I should look. Okay. So these guys are clearly praying to whatever is inside this chapel. So let's, let's take a look. Oh, look at that guy. He looks awesome. Um, hello, sir. Well. Ooh, and I like his voice. You look to be unkindled. Wow, that's a heavy voice. No bell tolls. And yet you've slipped into the painting. Ah, oh, no matter. If you've lost your way, the words of Lady Frida will guide you. Now, go on inside, show respect, and listen carefully. Okay, Lady Frida, so she must be the other, uh, ashen What's one, What's keeping then? you? Go on, right inside. Well, I'm Show hearing respect. funny noises. And let Lady Frida speak to you. Okay, fair enough. Let's open up the door. Ooh, again, a very heavy wooden door. But I must keep out the cold a bit. Ooh, another bonfire. Okay, then. Um, looks like most of the candles... Well, all of the candles on the side are out. What is that noise? Oh, that must be Lady Friede. Lady... I can't, I can't talk anymore. Lady Friede. Uh, let's light the bonfire first. And rest at it. There we go. And then let's talk to uh, Friede. Hello, m'lady. Welcome to the painted world of Ariandel. Ariandel. I'm, I'm always going to say Ariamis. I have long stood beside our blessed father and the rest of the forlorn. But forlorn thou seemest not, Ashen One. I know not the missteps which led thee to this painted world. But thy duty is all, and thy duty lieth elsewhere. That is true. Return from whence thou camest. I presume it visible to thee, the bonfire here in this room. A meek and faded thing, but twill guide thee nonetheless. So it looks like she found fire already. So what is the ah, problem yes. then? There is a thing thou shouldst by rights possess. Ours is a chance encounter to be sure. But perhaps it was meant to be. Let this be a remembrance of this cold world. A thing to help thee bear thy duty. A chill now, bite ring. Return from whence thou camest. Thou's to place in that world, and that alone is cause to rejoice. She's even barefooted. Um, so she just basically tells us to fuck off, to go away. Um, I'm actually going to look at her design a bit. Because I kind of feel like she has demon eyes. Don't know what that is all about, but maybe let me angle this a bit better. Her eyes aren't... Although... It looks like there's fire in those eyes. Although, yeah, I don't really know what to expect here. Okay, um... Enemy ahead. And there's a lot of paintings of her, but they're all on fire, seemingly. Interesting. And then the statue doesn't look all that happy. Where's the head? That head is completely gone. Okay, what else do we have here? So, oh. That is something. What's this? Mysteries. Okay, must go to the... The attic. Okay, seems like this is where those paintings were made. A big white painting. Can I do something with it? Apparently not, and I can't destroy this thing for some reason. That's, that is a lovely light. There's... doesn't seem like there's anybody here, or anything here for that matter. Can I access something? Maybe a hidden, uh, a hidden wall? No? Looks like there should be something, but... It 
Nope. I don't think there is anything. It's too bad. I was hoping to get another way out of here, but apparently not. So let's slide my way back down. And yeah, Frida wants us out of here, so the only... Oh, wow. Yeah, you look awesome. That looks... Amazing. Um, there is another door here. I'm wondering if I can open that. No. No, oh, can't hit it open either. And the other way was barred as well. Except if this is... No. Okay, so that's fine. Now, is this guy gonna be mad that I don't follow her word? Lady Frida has spoken, is she not? Then tarry no longer and be gone. I like his armor. I want his armor. There is one thing you should know. Inside the cold painting, curiosity could be your cross. Stray from the withering flame, and the snow will swallow you whole. <laughs> that seemed more like a threat than a there warning. Is one thing you should yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you, uh, whoever you are. We, we didn't really get a name, right? I only know Frida's name. Hollow Gem. We did find a few of those, yeah. Stone Plentiful in Londor. We can't go over here, but I think if the catacombs have learned me anything, I should be able to hit down the... Yeah, this thing. Because there's definitely stuff down there as well. So if I hit... The bridge, the same way I did, yeah, at the catacombs, that should reveal, is that just going to crash on its own? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, there it goes. And that makes a ladder, no, it doesn't make a ladder on the other side, but it is a path on the other side, so, should be able to descend here, yeah, there we go. That doesn't look like that's something you should be able to do with your hands there. A lady cinder. Um, ooh. Well, that looks kind of like the crystal caves from Dark Souls 1. Okay, so let's make our way down then. Because that's clearly where it's where it wants us to go. I hear things. Oh, there's an enemy over there. Oh, my shield. My shield is gonna... My lack... Yeah. What I was gonna say, my lack of shield is gonna bite me in the ass here. I can't block anything. Are my souls down there? I don't see them immediately. But they might be pretty close. Yeah, they're gonna be right on top of him, aren't they? God damn it. So maybe I should just keep dropping. Oh, ooh, don't go too far. That was an arrow. Where the fuck is that coming from? It's definitely coming from down below. I'm gonna have to be careful about that. So that seems to be my next path. Can't do that from here. I need to go across the beams. Ooh! I'm not gonna chase the crystal lizard. Oh, oh, what's the noise? I hear heavy noises. Oh, the crystal lizard killed itself. Ooh! Around the shield, I'm just gonna heal because that guy's gonna throw spears at me. And then down for the count. I still hear lots of heavy noises. Ooh, there he is. another one. I hear another one. And I can't reach him from over here, I think. But he can't
can't reach me. Can I go? No, that's way too far off. It's like I hear someone behind me as well. Yeah, there's somebody over there firing arrows at me as well. Ooh. Oh, don't drop off. No, no, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Back where we came from. I should be going down as fast as I can. I'm gonna have to drop off a few of these things. I feel like I should drop down. That archer is gonna get it. Oh, fuck you, that wasn't high enough to kill me. What? Okay, going. Dropping down. I'm on ice. I'm on ice and I'm getting attacked by another archer. Oh shit, that's not a good way. Shit, shit, shit. Where do I go? 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 This should be out of the way of the archer. go. Backstab the big guy, wait for him to get up and then hit, hit. Ooh, that was a heavy one. There we go. Is he down? He's down. Okay. Whew. And I still have all my souls. That doesn't look good. That looks like a boss arena. Sky fire, yeah. Yeah, sure. So I have the choice between crabs or probably a boss. Do I have... Oh, shit, Jesus, mother Christ, that was close. Oh, bonfire. fire. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Just quietly gonna rest here. I know that respawns the other archer, but I don't care at the moment. Um, I'm hoping he's gonna ignore me, which he probably won't. Ow. Oh shit, that's not good. Oh, they're going through each other. Why crabs? I hate crabs. Come on, roll, bitch. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is stupid. I'm just gonna run for it. These guys, guys can go suck my uh, nondescript genitals. Just gonna do a suicide run around here then. Since there's crabs I can't escape, and I know I can kill these guys with four hits. Oh, wow! Okay! Homeward bones every time, the homeward bones! The 
Craps don't seem to be all that interested anymore. Oh, what, 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 what? Oh, this. I killed that one. Just gonna drink. Just gonna drink. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, there he goes. He was one hit from dying, apparently. Uh, those were homeward bones. Why am I taking damage from such little falls? Okay. Don't run in all willy-nilly, probably. You were stronger for one for some reason. Were you a special tree? Snap freeze. Okay, let's check that out. So I think we're safe. Um, snap freeze. One of the spells left behind by the young sorceress Sullivan. Or Sullivan? I don't know, care. Uh, before leaving the painted world, creates a cloud of near freezing mist. Sullivan was born and raised inside the painting, yet had little use for this fridge. Okay, so that's the same explanation we had. Now we got the frozen weapon uh, thingy. This doesn't seem to open, and that's the end of the road. So I'm gonna try and run past the crabs again to get to the bonfire. And... Well, I think that, that thing over there, that arena, is probably a boss. So I'm not gonna do that this episode, so I'm gonna have to take a little break. Um... Oh, there's, there's tree. That was close. No, on fire. On fire, on fire, on fire. Be gone! Okay, and with that done, I'm gonna take a little break. So uh, I'd like to thank you all enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye!